In this exercise, we're going to be getting into the process of actually importing our points from our database. And if you remember, we have an all points group, which is basically a catch-all for all of our points. But in our last exercise, we actually created some point groups in order to actually distinguish between certain points. For example, if we go into our tool space and then we expand our point groups, you'll see that we have a pond point group as well as a storm manholes point group. And we have our all points point group here at the bottom. But what I would like to do, I'd like to get a little bit more descriptive with my pond group. I'll go into properties by right clicking on that point group. And I'd like to change that to detention pond just to be a little bit more descriptive. And if you remember, when we click the include tab, we actually put in the raw description that we're looking to actually capture. These are the points whose description match this particular raw description and we're looking to capture those points into this particular point group. So go ahead and click OK. So now let's go ahead and import our points from our database. We'll start that by going up within our tool space. We'll click on points then right click and select create. We'll get our Create Points dialog box. Go ahead and select this button right here, which says Import Points. Then we get our Import Points dialog box. Go ahead and select the green plus icon to add files. And navigate to your Tutorials folder. And within that folder, if you make sure that the file type is set to All Files, you'll see a Points Microsoft Access file. This is our database file. So go ahead and select this by clicking Open. And you'll notice that the specified point file format selection, we only have one selection. So we'll keep it on that, obviously. And then we have just a preview of all of our points that we're bringing into our drawing. Now, this doesn't show all of our points. It only shows a preview of our points. Now we'll go ahead and keep everything else at its defaults, then click OK. And if you wait a little bit, we're going to be processing these points. OK, it looks like it's done. We'll close this down, and you can see that we have all of these points that are now listed within our drawing. However, there's nothing showing up within our drawing space. How do we solve that? Well, if you click on All Points, and then right-click, and then select Zoom To, it'll take you to all of our points. So you don't necessarily have to go searching around for the points that you just recently imported. We'll go ahead and make a few adjustments to our tool space right here. Now, it looks like we have this yellow shield, which usually means that we need to update something right next to our Detention Pond point group. I'm kind of curious, what's that all about? If I select the point group, then right-click, and select Show Changes. Then we get our Point Group Changes dialog box. And it shows us that within our Detention Pond Point Group, we've just added some points. And it shows us a listing of all the points that have been added to this particular point group. We'll go ahead and close this down. And then we'll go ahead and update this point group by right-clicking and selecting Update. And you'll see that we have this black dot within our square that shows that there are points actually within this point group. However, I'm noticing that my storm manholes point group doesn't have this square with a black dot in it. That's kind of odd. What if I went into my point group and checked to see if everything is correct here? My raw description is matching. Yes, I want it to be uh, MHST with a wild card. Hmm. Maybe there's something that I did wrong. Go ahead and click OK. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. Evidently, Civil 3D didn't quite catch those points. So it might be something to where it's not a user error. It might be a situation where the program might need to catch up a little bit. However, it looks like our description keys did work. If we look at our raw description, we have MHST, and it's now being reformatted to storm manhole. And if we click on one of these manholes, right click and select zoom to, 
hmm, I know there's a lot going on here. What if we right click on our point and hit select and then we click and drag this point out a little bit so we can see what's going on. And within our description, it's been reformatted. Instead of saying MHST in the description, it now says Storm Manhole.